guys, hi, how you doing? Uh, we're doing a joint recording of the Stephen Dan show, <laughs> which is right there on that phone. And then we got the, uh, I just thought I'd share with you guys in, in the group as well, just to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes tour of the 10 for 10 and just speak to a few people who are also attending the event get some uh, some shy take away yeah some shy people <laughs> like these guys who definitely aren't comfortable being on camera at all <laughs> um, yeah Facebook just, just get a bit of a uh, get a bit of a feel of how everyone's uh, take or you know what people's biggest takeaways are from the event so far so um we're joined here by Jordy who hi everybody uh, Jordy super and Mitch, happy super happy i am super happy <laughs> super happy a little bit tired um guys a tell us tired. tell us a little bit about your uh Mitch Hello, bud. Uh, tell us a little bit about your biggest takeaway that you've had from the event so far. Um, my biggest takeaway, I think, was yesterday when Elan went away, went around the room talking about everybody's blockers mm. and the way we kind of sabotage ourselves just with the way we, our minds work and the way we think about things and speak about things, um, which basically stops us in our tracks. And if yeah. we think, if we change our words and change our our thoughts, it'll change our subconscious, um, and and allow us to start doing anything because anything's possible. Because we could all do anything once you know you all do everything that you set your mind to. We all do. Absolutely. And so that's, that's stop getting in your way, basically. So that was my biggest takeaway. Good man. Awesome. Mitch, you you had a quite a. Uh, um, inspiring moment, I think, from, from speaking to Elan as well. What, were you, what was your take on that? Um, actually, just to touch a lot on what Jordi just said, um, as an entrepreneur myself, uh, even from before coming to this, I think the biggest takeaway is that I, you think you're coming to a business, and that's all you think you're going to do is just make money and trying to find a business, <laughs> but you find a life-changing uh, events yeah. and a life-changing uh, moments and just talking with Elan and it's so funny because when he was talking to so many different people you think you, you say to yourself is he still talking to me because we have so many of the same stories yeah you know even though we're from different countries or different age ranges or different places from around the world you're still telling the same story and it's such an amazing Thing to be here with so many other people and realize that this is something you'll be with for the rest of your life because you found happiness, you found fulfillment, yeah. you found your purpose. But you this know? is the rest of our life. Yeah. You're part of my life. Right? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you'll learn to love this guy and this guy and this guy. We and learn to love. Learn Come, to. On. Ah. Come on. For the work, guys. Yeah. So it'll be the Steve and Dan show <laughs> yeah. with regular guest stars. Love it of first time. Exactly. Love it first time. Yeah, that's, we, we what, it, that's not what I meant. Get you on the show. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. Like, sure. for real. For real. For real. For real. Okay. As a duo. It's going to be done as, as a duo, duo as well. Awesome. Perfect. Right. Let's take a walk over here. Guys, thank you very much. Cheers. Listen to these guys. Cheers! Here we go. Right, let's go. Let's go to these two over here. So we've got a uh, we've got Facebook Live going on to the Scrap and Dan show. Private members yeah. community, yeah. and we have the uh, well, Stephen Dan show. show right there. So if you guys could pull in here, yeah. gather yeah. gather in. I'm gonna come around this way. This so is that we're this the is same very angle. impromptu, but that's fine. Yeah. Impromptu. So this is Facebook right. Live. So that's spontaneous and authentic. Yeah. This is. <laughs> you mean this is gonna be authentic over here? We'll direct at the Stephen Dan show, I think. Which is this one? Yeah. And we'll do a little brief intro again for the purpose of everyone who's watching the show for the first time, so you know who we are. Um, cool, so we're joined by this time James Maloney. Um, I've done all the talking, so Steve, would you like to? Oh, hey, how are you doing? Anyway, Kelvin, why don't you start? The uh, biggest takeaway or just anything that you want to share that's kind of important for you about this event? What was the most interesting part? Biggest takeaway, biggest challenge? Oh, wow, biggest? Um, I think just realizing that, first of all, you're not alone. Um, the community is here, um, you know, if you are ever stuck uh, for any reason, whether it's overwhelm or, you know, there are so many wonderful people within the community that, you know, are willing and able to help you out. Um, I mean, I've got notes and pages and pages of notes of stuff that I've written down, you know, but as far as 
all of that, like that's just all the strategy and technical stuff. But if that's all overwhelming, um, it's just the fact that like it's the relationships that you build within the community. I mean, we've got what uh, 12, 15 people here. Uh, on this oh, mastermind, and it's just, I now know that everybody I've met here, Dan, Steve, to everybody, um, they will go away after this event, and if I'm stuck, if they're stuck, they can reach out. Not going to help them at all. <laughs> <laughs> except, except, for, except for Holloway. Right. Everybody yeah, exactly. else, except yeah. for Dan. But, um, um, no, and like, uh, so just don't be afraid to reach out. Um, don't yeah. be afraid to ask for help. And, um, Great point. Yeah, that helps Great point. I've also been sitting next to Kelvin. I can confirm he's been taking lots of notes, so uh, I'm sure you'll pass it on. But well, you hope after that. <laughs> James is a bit, James is the joker of the of the group, by the way. Oh, I? Yeah. Oh, I. So. Well, now, now I've got that. that uh, <laughs> you got the tag. For this. You um, tag. Yeah. What about you? Uh, Takeaway, most interesting part. Yeah. Well, um, I guess two things for me. The first is that this journey, yeah, it is online marketing in one sense, but it's it's really about inner transformation, and that rubs off in all of the areas of your life, your health, your relationships. Um, just the way you approach the world, approach life, approach challenges and everything. So that like that journey in itself is just so important and so um, beneficial. And uh, which leads me into the next point, you've got that kind of online marketing aspect, but also the, the inner transformation aspect. You do need that balance in the right brain and the left brain. Um, uh, obviously the creativity side, the authenticity, the integrity, the the alignment with your values, but then some hard skills, some some real education. I think uh, Elan said yesterday when you've got kind of clarity of vision, the right education, and then maybe it was integrity or, or maybe a sense of urgency, and you bring those three together, that's when massive life change can happen. So yeah. just that that mix in the education has, has been the most important. It's, awesome. it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's just about having a message and then just having the skill set to get that message out to the mass market. Because obviously the more um, the more value that we give to society in return is the more money or more abundance that we will have. So it's just a yeah. from it. So it's just having that, you know, whether it's the social media or skill set or whatever the marketing skill set to take your message uh, to whatever audience it is or whatever problem you're trying to solve um, and just having the ability to do it on a scale where you can just help and impact and, that's, and, and sorry, yeah. what, that, that we all have a message. We all have a message and, and we all have value. That. Yeah, yeah. We, we, can, we can all help somebody else in some way, shape or form. It's just um, having the you know, having the skills but also realizing what it is, accessing it, um, believing that we do have value to somebody else or yeah. a lot of other people. And that, but that that Unlocking. that angle, that approach is so important. It's like, how can I add value? How can I um, serve other people, improve their lives, instead of the me, 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 me. I'm trying to help myself. And obviously, it's it goes together. As you grow, you can help others grow. But it's that, um, like, you know, what Stu said, wake up in the morning. How can I add value today? Like that's my intention. Yeah, and uh, that's a different game you're playing. Exactly. And I think you've hit on such an important point. And um, James, by the way, is a, a best-selling author. I think that's a really nice thing drop for you. you. His book. His book is the, the Art of Success by James Maloney. Get it? I've read we'll it. It's awesome. Down on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I want um, commission. Really far below. But really, yeah, so far below. Um, keep scrolling. But you've hit on such an important point with with the left brain and the right brain because I think in business a lot of the time, especially when we're coming in, we focus on you know marketing strategy. What tactics do we do? How do we do it? How do we do this? How do we do that? It's all like how, how, how. But then without the right brain aspects as well, we end up self sabotaging. We don't, our mindset isn't aligned. We're not in the right space to create the results that we're looking for. We end up focusing on the wrong things. So bearing in mind a lot of the lessons that you've learned from writing your book and from what you've experienced today what, what would you say would be one of the the biggest things to help create that right brain and left brain alignment uh, to move you towards success um, I'm not sure if this is answering the question exactly but just from what I've seen in terms of the personal development space there is a lot of philosophy out there and freaking good philosophy mm. stuff that has the potential to really change your life but at the end of the day you do need a vehicle a vehicle to fucking jump in yeah. and drive to your end goal uh, and it doesn't matter how much philosophy you read if you can't find that way to execute you aren't you're not going anywhere you're just gonna feel good because you say wow I've got all this knowledge and I fucking know what Socrates said about life and <laughs> yes. um, Seneca said about the shortness of life and death and awesome but I'm still in the same freaking place 
how do I move? Gas. Well, it's, it's like having a voice, but no one can hear it. Yeah. So, so it's finding your voice, which is what we learn, you know, within the community. Is finding your voice, and then the other skills is how to get that voice out there mm -hmm. and to the right people. Definitely. Awesome. Got to have both. Yeah. That's it. Great. Guys. Thank you, guys. We got to move on. Good luck, guys. Guys. See ya. We'll get you on a yeah, regular you, episode of yeah, the yeah, yeah. show for sure. Be Sounds good. Sounds good. Individual. Thanks, guys. We'll sign up. Thanks very much. Yeah. Right. right. Uh, Let's go over. Uh, should, we, should we get Justin Wolf in here? While I'm on the Facebook. So we got this guy midway through a Facebook live himself. So this is what it's And then we're going to interrupt. Him. Yeah, and he's gonna. We're gonna interrupt him. Oh, his yeah. live as well. <laughs> Maybe in a minute. We'll come back to us. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Right. Ah, two regular Steve and Dan show guests that we've had before. Yeah. Let's go interrupt this conversation. Hello, guys. Hello. So, <laughs> Sarah here, and we got the Steve and Dan show camera right here. So Paul and Sarah have both been. Steve and Dan shooting and we've also their got videos. Chris Idol here as well. So um, we've met Paul and Sarah. You know a little bit about your the stories and your background already. What would you say is your biggest takeaway from this event? Lily first. Um, biggest takeaway. Well, yesterday there was probably a lot of like deep diving um, into a lot of the um, emotional stuff, I suppose. And I suppose yesterday really helped me realize um, what's been kind of holding me back from I suppose achieving a lot in my life and in my business. So that came to the surface, and I am totally aware of it and able to move past it. And let it go. So yeah, it's quite powerful. And then cool. today, then was all the left brain stuff, so that's this guy here. <laughs> that's your fault, over. Yeah. What was, was your take a nap today? <laughs> what, what was your biggest left brain takeaway, Paul? <laughs> left brain takeaway. Yeah. Loads and insights today from the so on Christian Bureau. Um, really advanced stuff, and it really is just going to manage to follow it all, which is good. So I understand it, and it's really going to lift things to the next level. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah optimizing and stuff. And yesterday. Uh, biggest insight I would say, the word that keeps coming to my head is allow, to just allow life to happen and yep. stop putting up so much resistance. Because I'm all left side of the brain, I need to figure out, figure, figure out the how, yeah. yeah. And Sarah's always telling me, you don't need to do that, but <laughs> I'm starting to realise, no I don't. So, just allow life to happen. And and listen to Sarah. And listen to Sarah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Biggest takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> Great advice. Yeah. Chris, how about you? Oh, how about me? Well, we've all got the same problems, haven't we, when it comes yeah. down to it. Uh, Dave and I were laughing in the taxi this morning because we were saying, oh, wasn't it brilliant yesterday? Yeah, and we were all in tears. <laughs> <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Good tears, good tears. Yeah, yeah, they were good tears. Yeah, 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 yeah they were good tears. So, uh, yeah, just... Um, I think I'm with Sarah, just sort of let it go with the flow, really, isn't it? Um, yeah, brilliant. And then today, well, yeah, stuff we need to know. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> what, what, kind, what kind of impact do you feel with what we've learned over the last two days? Oh, what just, it, just it enormous have? because I've never got that tracking down, nailed down properly. So yeah. that, that'll be really, really useful. Uh, Having those insights into your business yeah. and being able to being know able where to, to tweak it. Yeah, exactly. Then guessing. Yeah. Awesome. I do a lot of guessing. A lot of guessing. Yeah. A bit less guessing, a bit more <laughs> strategy. Focus. Targeted, yeah. but with yeah. the right brain stuff as well. Yeah. Love it. Cool. All right, guys. Awesome. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to move on. See you guys later. Cool. Cool. Right. Harass some other right. people. Right. Let's go, do, uh, let's go join these people over We're here. We're going to go right. talk to these guys. So Hi. Hi. We've, got, we've got the Steve and Dan show. Steve and Dan. Right there. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Steve. And then we've got, we're coming to the same place. So, we're the same <laughs> so it's not too confusing. Yeah, we've got a Facebook well. Live into a private members community going on here as well. So. Guys, a bit of insight about the event, biggest takeaways, what's your what's your uh, main thing that you've learned so far? Oh, it's... Hi, I'm Peter. <laughs> um, I, it's been really life-changing, actually, to tell you the truth, because um, you go through and build this business and you get caught up in a lot of the analytics and doing videos and stuff, but I think the biggest takeaway is... Um, what what um, personal development I got out of the day yesterday, as in releasing some stuff from my own life, to actually now take back and be able to use the emotion behind that in videos, but to um, just to then have the guts to, to get out there and actually do stuff as well. So because you've got rid of some crap, 
and you can just be yourself and just do, you know, go back and, and be yourself and do what you, you know, what you want to do the whole time. And some great um, analytic stuff as well, learning about, you know, the, fa- the figures. So yeah. as an accountant, for me, that's like, I need that. So, yeah. Can't see that guy right there. That's it, this guy. <laughs> yeah. And this one here. Yeah, and that one right there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come to that yeah. in a second. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Rich, what about yourself? Look, for me, it, it was, I had no preconceived ideas of what I was going to get out of the 10 for 10. I think when I got here, I knew it'd be a little bit about marketing. I knew these guys would flex their muscles and show us how to do it. So I kind of was open to that. But what I was really open to is because I just, we want to take our business to the next level and we want to take, we're here and that's here for us. We want to take it to that next step. And there's got to be a blocker of somehow stopping me from doing that. What is that? So I was open to the process. I was open to just sit in amongst, you know, a room full of online entrepreneurs who are crushing it and be around um, people that have gone down that journey much further than me and just, you know, hey, what? Just what do you reckon? Is there anything I'm doing? And man, did I get some stuff out of yesterday? So I didn't think yesterday, but yeah, I didn't even know that stuff was there, let alone. I don't think it was intended we'd go down that path, but yeah. well, I'm so glad yeah. we did. I'm so glad listening to everybody else. Like I said yesterday, I came in there thinking, holy crap, I hope no one asks me anything about my campaigns or what I do because, you know, what I really don't know, yeah? Yeah. And the Good truth thing is, I do know some stuff, but you feel like you feel like I'm um, crap and I don't know. And, and yeah, so it was good and healthy to hear that everyone. No one's got their shit worked out. Yeah. No one's got their stuff no, worked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one's got their crap sorted out. And when you hear that and you go, these guys are crushing it, well then, hey, I don't have to have my crap sorted out. Yeah. Just take some action. So, yeah, that was a big, big part for me. And everyone's on the same journey. Yeah. You just, just, you're at different places, that's all. Yeah. yeah. And even awesome. the leaders, they've got crap as well. Believe it <laughs> or not. So refreshing. JJ, come say hi. Yeah, JJ. So, if you've been Thank in the you so much. community, Thank you. Who are we talking to? JJ. We're talking to Everybody. the Steve and Dan show and uh, Steve scrap, Steve. scrap the 9 to 5 private members community. So let's, let's walk over this side for a sec. Walk down, Dan, and pull JJ's, JJ's got to head home early. Yeah. He's, he's got to get into a We have a hurricane he's get heading into, into South hurricane. Texas. I'm going to go home and put a few extra buckets out for water later. <laughs> right. All 20 inches of it. Proud of you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Leaders extraordinaire, how, both of them. How many 10 for 10s have you been to? You know, I was trying to count the other day. This is uh, six or seven, one that I've been a part of. And, and what's the cool thing about it, I told you guys yesterday. Some of the world's most prolific affiliate internet marketers have come from this space. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys this on camera. When I leave, like I'm getting ready to leave, head back to South Texas. A weak leader would go, I wish you guys nothing but luck. A strong leader's going, I expect you guys to take the photo. Screw those things. Both of you guys. Love it. Thank we you. expect it. And I'm it's gonna be cool being in the front seat watching. So proud of you guys. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. Thank you for don't, everything. Don't you trust do. these guys. They're hoodlums. <laughs> no, you can't you can't take it back <laughs> now. He said it, he said it, you can't take it back. JJ. Good stuff. Hey, hey, so, 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 Where's Dave? We've lost Dave. Dave, 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 come in the middle, my friend. There we go. Stephen Dan Dan Show. Show. Yeah. Dave. Dave here, yeah. Um, didn't have any expectations like some of the guys were saying when I came yeah. here, but um, we're at this legendary house where we've been watching unbelievable amounts of mentorship and knowledge and training and power coming out from online. Now we're actually here, and it's been just pretty incredible. Um, I, nothing much to add to what the guys have seen. I can, I can just. Um, All right, guys. Agree. <laughs> it's been uh, incredible. Oh, we've still got some time left, haven't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, been yeah. fun too, which is always good. Um, it's not like one of those dry training kind of events where there's no fun. We had barbecue and beers last night, Saturday night. Oh, yeah. It's just incredible. Yeah, nothing like it in the world. Amazing. Awesome stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate yeah, it, guys. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the rest of the event. Yeah. Right, let's uh, let's let's take, let's, let's, take a, let's take a tour down, downstairs. We're going to the yeah, room yeah, and uh, yeah. we'll show you the back the back end of what's happening. Truly behind the truly scenes. behind the scenes. We're gonna go in here. Gonna go through past this pool, past these guys, go around the corner. This is this is this is Jay's house, by the way. There's, and there's Justin Wolf. Again, if you're in SFM already on this camera, you'll know Justin Wolf. If you're watching the Steve and Dan show for the first time. 
this, believe it or not, is one of the mentors in the community. Said, yeah. You have to put up That's with this guy right. all the time. It's yeah. a nightmare. Yeah, they wouldn't have it any other I, way. I can't even get on camera standing so, next to so, you. So tall. Is that Dan's and that's Steve's? This that's is Facebook mine Live, and that's Steve and, and that's Dan's that's show. That's show. What the hell's the Steve and Dan show? You don't know about the Steve and Dan show. Steve and Dan show? Where have you been? Living under a rock? Steve and Dan show. We, we basically interview uh, guests each week to share their journeys, <laughs> Thanks. their stories, a um, bit about their background, how they found the SFM. So, if you'd like to tell us a little bit about your story and how you joined up. Am, am I on the show now? You're on the show, well, you will be. You will be. We'll, we'll have you as a special guest in a few weeks. How about that? Yeah. But this could be like a little snippet introduction. But I don't want to follow you back. See, this is why I don't like that. Wolf is difficult, notoriously. He's from Jersey. Um, yeah, I'm just a challenge. <laughs> If, if I would, should have been on the show, I would have known about the show. And now you know about the show. Now you know about the show. How long has the show been on? 14, 14 weeks. episodes. 14? Mm -hmm. okay. Living under a rock. Yeah. I'm have you heard of rock. social media? No. <laughs> there's a thing called um, Facebook. It's this new technology. So, I don't know if you come across it yet. If there's an impact that you want people to get out of the show, what is that? The impact is we want to help people who are watching the show understand the journey that others are going through so that they can relate to that journey and hopefully see themselves making that journey as well. That's the main part. And yes. help members of the community learn how to tell their story and are comfortable telling their story. Yeah. There's so both sides of that. We can distill this down, we can get into like the blockages, the road, everything that'll stop you, right? Not that matters. You want it. Whatever that is, do you want it? A life to change. Environment. It's incredible. The goal, the impact. It can only happen one way. You have to face every fear, take action, develop skills, think and see the world differently because the world that you live in is already a product of your thoughts and what you know how to do. So it's fear that holds you back from doing it or it's something else that you have to learn. So you have to overcome the fear to progress in certain areas or you have to learn in other areas to progress. Yeah. That's it. And um, when you embrace that and you realize that you're not owed anything and you're responsible for all of it, we're some of our choices. What are you deciding every day? The life that you don't want or the one that you want? Mic drop. Awesome. <laughs> I gotta go. Thanks, Thank you for sharing. Uh, we'll speak to you soon. Thanks, yeah. Will. Cheers, bud. See you. All right, so we're going downstairs into the uh, the basement where it's all happening. <laughs> Behind me, it's all down. 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 This is where the magic happens. This is a giant cooper. This is the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker. <laughs> We're joined by the by the big man himself. There we go. Jay, you on the Stephen Dan show? Yo, yo. Oh, I thought that was a joke. <laughs> it's actually a real thing. It's a real it? thing. This is a real thing. Yeah. What? This, this, like, is, like, this is a step the nine to five. <laughs> this is the Stephen Dan show. Oh my it's gosh. Just before we kick. I off. think Dan's too young to know what that is. Yes. Uh, maybe, yeah, yeah. Just before we kick off. I'm trying to set up my camera now. I know, sorry, that's not important. Yeah, Stephen Dan is important. Just before we kick off, could you just give us uh, one bit of contrast? Because you've been doing 10 for 10s for how many years now? Mm, since 2010. 2010. Well, aside for a three year, so. Mm, so we did them for four years. We did about a dozen of these. Okay. By far the best group. You guys are by far so that's, kind that's of above. I, I, I know. <laughs> it was pretty. It was, it was a. It was Thank a great free. It was a layup. Us, right? Can I get back to setting this up? You guys should be here next time. That that. And on that note, we're going to show you the money in this next little bit. So. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Thank, Thank you, you we'll so much. Yourself. Cheers. Alright, guys. Hope Christian. Interesting. Just wanted to give you a little behind the scenes, Thanks. and you guys as well a little behind the scenes um, footage as to what goes on at SFM events. So if you're interested to find out more. Watch the Stephen Dan show. We do this every week with special guests, uh, with myself and Steve, my co host. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we, we never got around to that one, did we? Uh, we'll get around to it later. It yeah, um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye.